one day, like my sister, she got on the chess team, and I was like, you know, making fun of her, like, oh, you a nerd and stuff, you a geek and stuff. So my dad, he ain't like that too much, so he made me quit basketball, and he made me play chess. And uh, I don't think I'll go to the pros, but it's more likely I can go pro playing chess. Uh, the Detroit City Chess Club actually started um, from a little group of chess players out of Duffield Elementary School. Um, one of the math teachers over there, Mr. Kevin Fight, uh, decided to take a group of kids after school and they began to play chess. He also took these same little kids, Duffield, and they became two-time national champions. I don't think we could have found uh, too many places uh, that would volunteer to let us bring this many kids in. And it just so happened that this happened to be one of the cultural gems of the city of Detroit in the state of Michigan. And so the kids not only play chess, but occasionally uh, staff from the DIA will take them through the museum. It helps me think a lot more and strategize things, not just chess, my grades. And um, it helps me think a lot more and think deeper into what I'm doing. We have um, quite a few adults that come in that are very good at playing chess, but occasionally you have some that come in and sit down with these young kids, seven, eight, and nine, and take them for granted. And before you know it, they'll checkmate it, and you'd be surprised at the look on some of the adult faces when they find out these kids would beat them in four or five moves. Yeah, right there. You ain't gonna lie. Trying to make me look bad. These kids, we know what they're doing on Friday night. They're here trying to outthink each other and enjoying themselves at the same time.